Hello everybody, welcome to the second round match of CCL Season 54. Dari Wuss with his halflings up against Jay Leave with an amazing chaos team. Uh, Dari Wuss has stolen three rerolls thanks to the chef. So only one reroll for the, the chaos. And uh, he's also got a wizard, an apple, a bribe and two babes. Maybe she could have gone for two bribes, right? Because, I don't know, the apple seems really rubbish because it can only be used on halflings, essentially. I guess you could use it on trees because they've got claw. Um, but, like, obviously, you really want to use the apples on Morg and uh, Deeproot, which are the two stars he's taken. And uh, he, has a, he has a super fling here with add jump, sprint, and sidestep. But, yeah, mostly uh, the odd sidestep, but mostly just those guys. Um, and then an amazing Chaos Team rippling with kill skills, and tackle, and agile, and all sorts of things. Really, really, really amazing. Amazing Chaos Team. And in the booth with me is Daedalquist. Hello. Hello. Feeling better? Thanks for asking. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> you already said you were feeling better, Dale. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just like being a bit of a dickhead. <laughs> a comedic effect. Don't we all? <laughs> Alright, so going for the blitz here. Does he foul? I mean, he's got the bribe. Does he just foul this, like, stunned guarder? Looks like he might. Yeah, I don't hate it. So if, if this see, this is why I think if this is your strategy to just lay into anything that goes down, maybe go for the two bribes rather than one and a wee, rather than one and a half. Oh, I don't know. I'm not going to second guess mm. Dara. He plays a lot more flings than me. He's a lot yeah. better than me with flings. So you know, fair enough. Like in a way, uh, as flings, I guess that um, the second bribe counts. Like. It has sort of the same effect as the, uh, um... Yeah, the apple, yeah. Same yeah. thing, yeah. If you get sent off or if you apple badly hurt, it's essentially the same thing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. When you're, when you're so expensive, it, it likely to get uh, knocked out or better. Yeah. Like, obviously, you've got to have the two bribes. Like, you've got to have the two babes, right? Because... The babes work on Deep Root and Morg, and your apples don't. So, like, yep. you have to have the two babes, 100%. Ah, oh, that's a good point from Ducky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. Bribes are worse, of course, in Blood Bowl 3 slash Blood Bowl 2020 because they don't stop the turnover. So, like, stopping the turnover is one of the good things about the bribe as well, isn't it? So... That's an interesting point that, that the bribe has over the uh, over the apple. Well, as a spoiler for some people, but I mean everyone should have seen that game by now. Um, if they're watching this, Rick is not in, nor Rick did lose against uh, against Andre. But an amazing, amazing game. If you haven't seen, you should watch 100%. Even though I've just spoiled it. Um, so, if Dara can win this game, he will get the full $50 for the Stunty Cup to himself. Uh, if he loses, he will split it 25 with Rick. Yep. Uh, yeah, it, it truly was one of the one of the best games of Chalice all time, probably. Yeah. Just because, like, we everyone was obviously rooting for Rick <laughs> and the Goblins. Uh, and they nearly pulled off like an incredible upset for the second week in a row. Uh, so, so yeah. One D, one two D. Oh, he's strength Ultimate. five. He's strength five, Claw yeah, Mighty. Yeah. It's a it's a pretty disgusting team that he's got. It really is. Yeah. Built in the weak uh, North American time zone, of course. Yep. <laughs> literally all you have to do is is play and not spin into nick like just watch nick stream and spin into literally anybody else and you will yep you will do as well as jelly or you wins forever <laughs> yep <laughs> oh is that is that kill bill secret as well 
yeah, yeah. Right. Well, there you go. I could have imagined. Petition, petition to retroactively strip at everyone's title who played in the NFL, in the NFL, in the North American time zone. <laughs> per permission grant. <laughs> Put an asterisk next to all of those, all of those titles. <laughs> Do those times never need one turning? That's the thing, right? Doug to the dog has never, never tied a game before. He was always winning two to on turn sixteen. He'd never had the, he'd never had to do that before. <laughs> Daily, you're you're legendary today. <laughs> <laughs> petition, petition to VIP daily. <laughs> <laughs> daily the champ. Oh man! That's my name. Show it up your ass. I mean, I would shove it up my ass, Doctor the Dog. But the thing is, if I shove it up my ass, and in this, in my ass, there's Crucifer, there's uh, Elliot, there's Andy Davo. You know, there's all these people who are like good people who are good at blood ball. Whereas yours is just like a gaping hole, isn't it? <laughs> so what can I say? Inari and even right, oh, it's hard to argue with. Like, people would say you haven't got a leg to stand on, or or a hand if you're Elliot. Right. This is looking pretty good. It's actually looking pretty good, isn't it? Despite losing a bunch of halflings, he's uh, getting to punch things, which is what he wants to do. Yep. <laughs> 3D now, isn't it? And then he can foul. I, I like this. Oh, it's not a 3D. He's strength 4. Yuck. What a disgusting player. That's a waste blitzing and really blood. I guess. Man, this team is so flipping good. <laughs> yeah, uh... Hey, right, get some KO. So where's the strength five here? So you can um you can GFI or he's just gonna Oh, wow, triple skull! So he can GFI to 2D mode. Which, oh, now he's moved out of the way. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, I thought. What a brilliant player following to stop a GFI. That is as good as it gets in the North American time zones. <laughs> 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 it really is peak blood ball. Way! <laughs> Knock yourself out, Americans. <laughs> Fantastic. That's a claw bomber for Mob to hit. That's pretty nice. No, it doesn't know. What? I really like hitting the claw point with my... Yeah, me too. <laughs> I can't see much you can pick it, yeah. It's funny, isn't it? No one re Well, I mean, maybe he's the odd person. Like, like maybe, maybe Kaz is on the chaos side, but most people aren't going to be on the chaos side in pretty much any game that's, <laughs> that's being played. <laughs> Kaz is the only one who I think might be on the chaos, <laughs> on Team Chaos in these matches. Oh, we can claw, uh, claw this guy, can't he, here? No, he can't. No, he hasn't. The sidestep into not removal means that he can't. It's really hard to hit, get the hits here. Even with a strength 5 claw might. Which, you know, not to say that. Oh. Oh man, it sucks. It sucks how good this guy is, isn't it? The end of strength 4. I guess you could put in 2 assists on him in 3D and with Deep Root. 
That seems okay, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't hate that. The problem is by going there, then you take yourself away from him, and then like, you'd really like to keep. I guess you committed to a uh, toss in a way. Let's see, yes, yeah, so he cuts back over here. Yeah, this is better, isn't it? Yeah, this is better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fancy goats. Yeah, Ask that... leave how he built them. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have anything to do with North American time zones? Oh, it might. <laughs> this is great. It is. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff about beating a dead horse it's really funny it's really yeah, really funny the, to see do. that's the thing Dale, you see that's the thing not so funny when it's my toes or your turn 16 but i turn eight but it's brilliant when it's north american time zones <laughs> i mean <laughs> i'm on this side of like it's pretty funny to me as well <laughs> Keep might be getting a bit bored of uh, Machu Picchu these days. <laughs> <laughs> I miss that. I don't know what that's referring oh, to. Uh, so Artemis raided uh, Keith Abix and then he said, what do what, like, oh, it's, he said something, I can't remember what he said, but it was something about, what do you think of Matthew Pithew? Um, do you think he sounds like that Incan place or whatever, right? The, you know, and then, <laughs> is, is, is Incan, I can't remember. And, um, and then obviously, so Keith Bix being Irish said Machu Picchu for Matthew Pithew. Which <laughs> 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 is pretty great. Yep. Pretty great. Whoa, GFI? Another GFI? Another GFI? Is this enough? It looks like it could be. Oh. I just have to, have to read all this. Was that necessary? Mm, probably, yeah, because otherwise it's a, a weak, weak diagonal. I guess you uh, put him on him, as much as it sucks. Can this guy hit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can't. Maybe uh, this guy could have geified right to, to stop the coming out this way. I guess this guy's not doing it anyway. That's four. One, two, three, four, five, six, geified. Yeah, so maybe he up to um, double geify. I lost Lusta. Yeah, this Sluta. guy had a double G. Oh, he can just go that way. Sluta. Come in. Come in. He only got the push! Glorious! Yes! <laughs> go, Flings, go! Glorious! Don't you dare snake now, you little thing. <laughs> hey! You can't... <laughs> <laughs> yes! Dead, dead, dead! He's <laughs> pretty dead, isn't it? <laughs> nah, he's DP kick. Actually, he's the best one to be uh, perm, isn't he, right? He can deal with armor 7 because he just kicks oh. it and he fouls and gets sent off. Boom. Oh, did not cast the strength for. Yeah, it's, it's 3 d the Pommer, which I think is a good play. We're not going to foul, are we? Or is this like covering in case of the uh, double one? You could have set up a conga line of, uh, you know, scatters in case, <laughs> in case he dodged. You know, <laughs> that would that would have been the optimal play, wouldn't it? That would have been the optimal play. I don't know if he had the movement, but the optimal play would have been to have a, a fling in the end zone and another fling next to him. And then, so if you failed that dodge, it could have like bounced diagonally to the guy and then into the other guy. So it would have given you like a 0.1% chance or something. <laughs> would have been technically correct. But there you go, pretty good. It per perfect eight turn stall, easy as you like. Yep. Yep. Took a bit of damage. So now, does he do a Rick and just, um, does he do a Rick and just like, you know, defensive Daka? 
in the second half. And then, you know, he's got the one-turn chance. And then he's got the uh, overtime toss as well. So he's got two one-turn chances. Uh, he's got the wizard as well, but I, I don't know, I think. I'd be very tempted to just try and defensive Dakar here. Problem is, he's got to put the strong boys on. We can get clawed. Mm, yeah, maybe Ducky, but of course, Jay Leaf did use his one reroll on a triple skull this half. <laughs> did he? Or was that last game? I remember somebody rolled a triple skull. I don't know. Maybe it was like maybe it was like three hours ago or four hours ago. I don't know. <laughs> <I'm> streaming <laughs> too long. <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't take a Kaz here, if he doesn't take a Kaz here, or only one, then Super Flynn can sit out defensive Daka into two throw chances. Yeah, probably. I, yeah, I mean, I agree, Ducky. Yeah, you've got to high roll. No matter how well things are going, you have to high roll more. <laughs> No matter how well things are going, you have to hire all those things, 100%. Not mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Skull. Well, pretty good LOS. Yep. So, yeah, he gets the bench though. It's he the gets ball uh, complete. Oh, no, no, no. So there's an argument now for benching Super Fling and Morg, right? <laughs> oh no, uh, because uh, Deep Root is amazing at, at throwing. Yeah, Deep Root has got um, well, Deep Root hasn't got has got Lona though, right? So probably just a random tree. Uh, but I guess Deep Root can move two squares before he throws, but Morg can move six, so Morg could like go either either side, right, to get the throw. Oh yeah. So yeah, he turns out they're all pretty fucking no. good at throwing. No, he doesn't bench Morg. And obviously in Blood Bowl 2020, Morg has his special thing for throw teammate, doesn't he? Which makes him uh, makes him really good at throwing. Him, you know? so he's playing the super fling and holding the wizard. Okay, so I I think he did this in uh, the first round match, which you know he won, right? Because obviously he's in the second round match. That's not really a spoiler. But I really do like, you know, with a wizard, I, I still, I still really like benching the super flame. And um, this is like kind of weird as well, right? One side stepper is is benched, and one is on the field on the LOS. In fact, like it's kind of weird, right? Either put two yeah, side steppers on the LOS, yeah. or or two side steppers here, or no side steppers on the LOS and none on the pitch. Like it's kind of weird. I don't know what's yeah, going on there. But uh, the super fling, yeah, I'd be tempted to just. Uh, but he's not them. injured, what? Right, one, the one on the. Okay, the yeah, yeah, match. oh yeah, that could be it. Let's have a look. No, he's not. <laughs> All right, neither injured. And actually, this is a thirteen An SPP one. So this, is, this is. <laughs> I guess you might want this one to die because he's on thirteen SPP, but yeah, <laughs> potentially yes. I think. I just think you have to bench the edge forward and rely on. You can't rely on protecting him from hits. So at least guarantee he's on the pitch for your one turn chance. I don't know. The favourite best team in the chalice. Um, I don't know that they're favourites, but I would say they're the best team in the chalice now, possibly. Um, yeah, it's a hell of a team, isn't it? There were a few, there were a few good ones. Some of the good ones have, have lost. Uh, no spoilers which ones they were, but uh, some of the good teams have lost already. This is definitely one of the best teams left. Um, however, you know, they've got weaknesses, haven't they? <laughs> Like versus the elves, I guess they've got they've got swing five tens and they've got tackle palm, but I don't know. 
I feel like I'd rather have one of the big 12 teams versus... Uh, versus uh, elves or rats. I mean, it is nice, isn't it? Edge 5 and Vampire. It is a nice team. Oh, is that the Machu Picchu clip? <laughs> there you go, you can watch that, David. Oh, thank you. <laughs> For more gets a Kaz back. And then retreat behind his line of trees. Back into the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he didn't. I mean, he could have geified to get. He could have geified to get in there. Is this a geify to hit him? Maybe it's in there. Gonna geify it to claw mighty. That's why he should he should have geified to get behind his wall of trees. Gets away with it. Now he can. Now he can go behind his wall of trees. It's now he can blitz four, can't he? And then five, six behind him. No, oh, well, he's opened up a hole. Ooh. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Oh, he's going to put them in a, just in a line. He's just going to put them in a solid line. I kind of like screening more, more, but this is pretty good, having them just in a huge line. A huge line of meat. <laughs> so if you, if you put in the guards, then you're, uh, you're going to get mighty blow. No hesitation from Jay Lee. Well, I mean, that could have been. There could have been, but on the replay, there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> only stole two rerolls, so he's still got two rerolls for the second half. And, you know, overtime best case scenario for Jay Lee. Now, uh, getting three mighty blow punches. I really don't like playing the super thing. Mm. Well, it's just claw mighty, right? He hasn't he hasn't got the pile on really. Um, he's having to use the strength five to hit with to get two dices. And might claw mighty just is nowhere near as effective as claw pom. Don't tell Russell <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, of course, Razzlestorm qualifying by playing the uh, NA time zone. <laughs> Purely coincidentally, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, wow, strength five tentacles don't hold the fling. <laughs> And then he gets a Oh. Not even dead. Oh, and then. Oh. Oh, chain him into the strength five, probably. Oh, 
And it's pretty sick, this team, isn't it? Strength 5 with Claw Mighty and a Strength 5 with Tent. It is disgusting. Edge 5, Vampire, it's like, whoa, it's a really, really flipping good team. Man, I, re I really hate having this super fling on the field, though. I can't lie. 3D the tackle point is lovely. Yeah, kind of, kind of retreat to this quarter, and you know, like probably Dara's like played this matchup. Well, not this matchup. Hasn't played Chaos teams this good very much, but this kind of matchup, I guess he's played loads of times, right? So yeah, he was confident that he was going to be able to protect him, but I wouldn't be confident that I could protect him. <laughs> well, there's the uh, apple comes in just on just on a miss next, so you know, it's a bit weird, that isn't it, from uh, Jay Eve. Well, but like, I guess he is going. He is going to overtime, right? Like that's the thing. He is. He is going to overtime, right? So it's not. But it's only fifty-fifty to work, and it's not saving him from a perm. So it's interesting. It's an interesting apple. I wouldn't say it was right or wrong. Like, I think it's hard to judge, but just interesting. I mean, if you won't say it, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. Like, I genuinely don't know what, whether that's good or bad. Or I don't know, Jeff. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, a one turn would beat the chaos. Never mind hurt them so much. <laughs> it would just win the game, wouldn't it? Like, you know, Dara's stalled out his half. All he's got to do is he's got one chance to one turn, and if he uh, if he wins the toss, he's got two chances to one turn. It is drive, which is why I hated it. That's why I hated that kind of talk because you know some things are super interesting. I mean, some... you basically invented <laughs> no interesting as code for shit. No, I didn't. <laughs> it was, it was, it was rebel. It was rebel that like had the thing. Like, you know, that that was the thing. It was rebel saying all of this bollocks, yeah. and it's like. And that's why I didn't like it because some things are interesting and some things, you know, who can say if it's right or wrong or good or bad, you know, like that. Those to me are the more interesting things. But then, rebel, you know, the rebel casting code or whatever it was, just wanted people to talk bollocks to say, you know, excuse bad play because I don't want to say anything. You know, God forbid somebody could not be perfect at. A, Pointless little children's game from 1994. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, Zunga. No, it isn't. This game's actually, well, not good, but uh, playable. <laughs> I definitely say this game is good. Mm. It's not without its faults, but it's a good game. I mean, it's certainly playable. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot better than Blood Bowl 3. Like miles, miles above Blood Bowl 3. Finally gets the Claw Palmer tree. Gets the power. Doesn't pile on. Scared of the Wiz. Gets a bit more reinforcement. Wiz doesn't come. This is the problem with saving the Wiz, isn't it? Is that you're going to save it till it's too late, aren't you? Like, it's all too late almost as soon as the game started. I guess it's just for your offensive try. I, I guess the Wizard is just purely an offensive try thing for flings. Unless, like, something amazing happens randomly. I mean, not really victimized, boy. It's more 94, right? The, this game isn't that far away from the game in 94. The game in 86 was nothing like the game in 88, and the game in 88 was nothing like the game in 94. Apart from the name and some of the fluff. <laughs> 
but mechanics wise it's very similar to the 94 game like that you know had the block dice and the turnovers and everything yeah well, I mean this game right this game is essentially from 94 Yeah. No, no, yeah. 86 was, was weird, right? 86 was like, they had, you know, strength and toughness and wounds and stuff, and it was just basically almost ported from Warhammer Fantasy Battles. And then in 88, they had like, they made it more like American football and stuff, like blocking and kicking and all this kind of stuff, and fouling and things and like proper. But it was still just rolling two dice in a chart. And then 94 was when. Is the big one where it was, uh, you know, block dice, four stats, blah blah blah. Well, pretty good half, pretty good half. I know he's been scored on, but he's got his re rolls. Hasn't had a super fling being close to being hit before. So that's pretty nice. He did a really good job of protecting him. Survived multiple 2Ds on like uh, Morg and a claw bomb hit on his tree, so you know he's had a bit of luck as Dara. And now he's got a one turn chance and maybe an offensive drive. Very exciting. Free rolling at this point means. Yep. Both come back. Could be it. If only you had hefties with, uh, with uh, what's it called? Fumble Ruski. If you had a fumble, <laughs> like, Fumble Ruski is actually really good for the one turn, isn't it? Touchback, oh, could you imagine? This is actually decent, isn't it? The offset LOS and then the, the tentacles there. And then putting these here over here, this is actually pretty decent. Tentacles and tentacles and tackle there is okay, but still gonna throw over this from here by the looks of it. I feel like not putting Morg on the LOS is best. So we can run around and blitz or, or whatever. Like, if he was here, he could blitz there if you wanted to, but then you can't. Oh, fuck. Oh, they just run away. Man, I would have GFI'd and punched him. I would for sure. Oh, no, but then he could sidestep forward. Oh, yeah, shit, you can't even do that. Yep, no, fair enough, by G. And the kick was perfect. So that's fucked. That was a sad kick, wasn't it? But if he had a, if he had a, if he had a, f a fumble ruski, right? Kick off return fumble ruski. Uh, what, what is it on the ball? On the ball could have caught it, and then he could have one, two, three, four, five, dropped the ball, and then picked it up and handed off. So yeah, maybe you only need one. One. Uh, one hefty with like on the ball and from the risky for like one time. Would be pretty sick. Would be. Like especially with, you know, how it's supposedly, supposedly um, pretty good in the movies. Yeah, like how the new rules work, right? Like using the multiple rerolls to score is disgusting, isn't it? You know, so like you can just not use any rerolls and then you know all three rerolls come in the one turn time. Right, let's go flings, let's go flings! Nah. Boo. Well... It's not over. You can move in Slayer, yep. You can indeed. It's very unlikely you're going to need to, right, even with... Uh, 
even with flames. Which would be the only time you'd ever want to use the Mulruski. I guess if you are, I guess if you've got two of them, you, you're guaranteed to get it. Yeah. Yep, short short kick blitz would be okay. Well I mean you a deep kick. End zone yeah, kick. End zone kick is the blitz, blitz, basically. End zone kick blitz, that's what we need. Oh, could you imagine? I had that once as goblins, and then I failed to catch, and it Oof. scattered out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, thingy, thingy had it, didn't he? Sky Blue Monty had it, and then he lost his next turn. Oh wow, he got a blitz, and it's a short kick blitz. Oh my god! Uh, yes, <laughs> go flames! <laughs> oh my god! Morg blitz, fouling. Let's go. Ah, oh. yeah, reroll. I like it. I like the reroll there. Yeah, otherwise it's just instantly sucked. Yep. Man, imagine if he powered him and then fouled him with three assists. That'd be amazing. Instant 3D even, isn't it? Yeah. The honey just gets it. Doesn't kill him and it's Ooh. the worst possible scanner? What? Yes! Yes! <laughs> and dove skulls! Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. One, two, three. The edge five can just get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, he'd be on the sideline. And he dubs skulls? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> You're telling me there's a chance? <laughs> Come on, please. Flip me. I mean, you just gotta hit this guy. Oh, but he, need, he needed to stand him up first for the assist. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, that's pretty brutal. Oof! Instant removal. Miss next. Four. Big, big. Oh, we missed, missed the rest of Chalice. That's the question. Mmm. I wonder if. The wizard was the player there from Dara, right? Yeah. Could have whizzed. Because the only way you can knock down this is. Uh, oh! You got the wall? Yeah, not terrible. No! <laughs> Dice! <laughs> Comedy Mega. Oh, the ball is basically safe, otherwise. Yeah, the real problem is, like, Morg can't get to him to throw him. Deep Root can't get to him to throw him. I guess Deep Root could get blitzed off, right? He could he could blitz that string five with a tree. Deep Root has break tackle, right? It does not. I don't think so. He's got block. Uh, He's just got block. <laughs> oh, and strength seven. Yeah, block and strength seven. And no take root. Oh, he's just been cast. Well, now he's really not going to get the throw. Yep. Dead. Dead, dead, dead! By deep root. And he gets the dodge to hit the ball. Doesn't power him, though. That's good. So. He gets up, that's good. Okay. Um. 
Yeah. And that was fucked, wasn't it? That was fucked. And that's it. Yeah, did he forget the wizard? I mean... The problem is, like, Morg was double marked, so, like... I just don't even know what you wiz or what you hope to happen. What, like, wiz... Wiz the blodger here and just try and dodge down the sideline and... What do you wiz? Wiz the tense and try and dodge... Like, it's really hard. Mm. No. No. Oh, 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 there's a chance if this guy... Uh... Yes, yes, yes. No, he's got an edge five to go and pick it up, though. No. He's not picking it up. But again, Morg is... Uh... It was too far away. I mean, there wasn't really like a super point to, to hit the, the Wiz the tents, right? Because there was always another player around. Oh man, he was one on the Wiz. Like if he if he'd um if he'd uh, cast him. Like, I just broke an AV, like, just stunned him right and then picked up the ball. He might have survived the, uh. Might survive the four dice. You can't take bombs. Same as, uh. Same as the goblins. Yeah. So close. So near yet so far. I mean, close than the goblins in a way, right? Because he actually had the perfect yeah. eight turn stall, whereas. Yeah. Ricks went with for what you'd expect, which is them getting shit on. Yeah, and then, he's, and then he lost the toss, but got the blitz mm. instead. Yeah. Super interesting. Just couldn't knock down the, uh, the stupid, 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 disgusting chaos player. Yeah, yeah, that strength 5 tense was really amazing, wasn't it? And the stand firm was pretty amazing as well. Yeah. Yeah, it was really a stand from those kicker, right? Yeah. You know, I hate to say it, but uh, Jay Lee was asking what he should take, and a few people said guard, and I said definitely stand firm. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, on that player, like, you definitely want to stand firm. Yeah, because with two strength fives, he just doesn't need the guard that much, whereas. Yeah. A strength five tentacle for stand firm is amazing. Yeah. And, uh... Man, it's, it's tough. It's so close, isn't it? I don't know what... I don't know, like, maybe, like, yeah, you know, I don't know, it's really hard. Like, the thing was that he, there, were, there were a couple of chances to bolt the tents, but, like, they just weren't amazing, right? Because there was, there was another player around there at the same time, so it's not as if it was, like, opening up a, a gaping hole to bolt the tents at any point. Like, if there had been a... You, you, you bolt the tents and you win, then I agree you should have bolted the tents, but it wasn't, it just, it wasn't that clear-cut, so... It was hard to justify, really. So, so near so far, like he had the, had the fling, had Morg, if only he could have got Morg thrown in somehow. <laughs> vampire, vampire beast man foul, fouling the fling to death. <laughs> Uh, just like an average day in the North American time zone, can absolutely choose who to farm his SPPs on. <laughs> <laughs> this one. <laughs> I 
Yeah, yeah, but can you wizard? Can you wizard on a blitz? I, I'm not sure you can wizard on a blitz turn. Because it's not, like, you know, it's not your turn, right? I, I'm not sure, I'm not 100%. On whether, on whether A, the rules allow it, and B, whether Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl 2 allows it, even if the rules do allow it. But yeah, that would have been, that would have probably been the best one, yeah, duck, 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 yeah. That's pretty good, right? That would have been a pretty good bolt. If, if it was possible. If it was possible, I, I agree that would have been the best, but I'm not 100% on whether it's possible. Yeah, yeah, I like that then, because then you get the foul. You get like Morg out screening and stuff, don't you, for sure. Mm, really strong, actually. Really strong if Blood Bowl 2 allows it. It's fair enough, right? He's unlikely to get this guy to 76, but you never know. So you've got to try for the extra cars. And he kills him. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. That's pretty funny. Morg and Deepwood both fully dead. That's pretty yep. cool. Yeah, yeah. And, uh... Deep root one deed to death, same as more was in the golden game. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna foul him. Oh my god, kill him at the end. That would be amazing. This would be so funny. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. Unfortunately, that gives him a 3D, which might get him another 2. It's well possible, like, if he gets to the final, that, that this guy does get the 76. So, you know, this is 100% correct. Yeah, going for these guys. Not me. Not me, dude. Well, it was a valiant effort, just like just like Rick. So there you go. Rick and Dara will split the fifty dollars for best stunty, and of course, Sea Bros had really no chance being up against <laughs> Skaven with an edge six natty, <laughs> yeah. and having ogres. Like ogres were really almost never going to win the first round match, but uh, really cool that that you know the goblins and the flings won at least one match each. And congratulations yep. to Dara, valiant effort. Congratulations to Jay Leaf, who won with a vastly superior team, <laughs> scraped a two-one win, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> with a with a team farm to two thousand four hundred TV in the weakest environment known to man, which is the North American time zone. But um, you know, really, 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 really good effort, Jay Leaf, and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Daniel Christopher Corkums. <laughs> You're welcome. Always happy to be here for you. And thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>